Hey guys, welcome to today's video and welcome on into my beauty stash. I have the new Ladybug Glow Galaxia Magica palette in my stash. This is in Portuguese, um, but of course, if you were going to pronounce it in English, it would be Galaxy Magic. And of course, this is from Ladybug Glow. Ladybug Glow is a very small indie makeup brand located here in the US. Amanda, the owner, was very kind enough to gift me with this palette along with two different lippies. One of them I am wearing right now, and it is this beautiful beautiful purple shade. You guys know I don't wear a lot of purple lipstick, but I thought today it would go perfectly with the palette. The shade name is Christina. She also sent me this lip gloss right here. This one is in the shade number 51. And she also sent me another lipstick, which is a beautiful neutral shade. This one is called Missy. So I will have these items linked in the description box. Now I do have an affiliate discount code with Ladybug Glow and it is Steph that will give you 10% off of your order. Now I want you guys to know, since this is a small indie makeup brand obviously they do produce small amounts of, of their palettes but I asked Amanda do you have this palette in stock that way I can notify my viewers in case you all are gonna want to pick this up you like the way it performs she has 87 palettes in stock as of last night so I am hoping and praying if you guys love this video and you love the palette that you're able to pick one up and of course use my code Steph it'll give you 10% off of your order this palette it retails for $36. Now in this gorgeous palette, you're getting 12 different shades. So they're going to be five duo chrome sparkly shifty shadows. There are six mattes and then there's one matte that has a little bit of glitter in it. We call it, I like to call it a sequin shade. So I think it's a very nice even mixture an even split of shimmer to matte shadows. I'm going to be creating three looks with this palette and if you guys want to see everything in action keep on watching and guys if it is your first time here on my channel let me just take a minute to say hello and welcome to all of you my name is Steph and this is what I love to do I love trying out new makeup especially indie makeup if that sounds great to you and you guys want to see a lot of makeup videos on pretty much a daily basis because I upload quite a bit. Do me a favor before we start, go ahead and click on that subscribe button and hit the bell so you'll be notified every time I drop a new video. And if you're a fan, already a fan of Ladybug Glow or just a makeup lover, indie makeup lover in general, be sure to give this video a thumbs up before you go. Now I've already primed my eyelids with my favorite, my new favorite eyeshadow primer, which is from Sugar Drizzle. And at Sugar Drizzle, I do have a code. I believe my code over there is Steph10, and that'll give you 10% off their order. They have a big launch and restock going on tomorrow, so I would definitely save my code and be on the lookout for that. I'll be posting about it in the community section as well as my Instagram, but today is all about Galaxia Magica. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right, but this palette has a very pretty color story, and you can see why I chose to wear it with a purple lipstick to kind of tie in with the colors that we're getting. I think what I want to do right now is I want to go in with this matte white shade called moon and I really want to blow it out in the inner corner I'm going to take this shade on a refer 12 and I'm going to bring it down let me know if you guys have picked up anything from this brand. I know some of you are anxiously awaiting the restock of the Murky Waters palette, which I do have a video. I'll have it linked up above. That is a beautiful 10 pan palette with a beautiful color story. I want to say that is going to be in stock this coming week. I think Amanda said her shipment arrives on Monday, so as soon as she can get that up and running, I will let you guys know, so um, be checking my community section here on YouTube, and of course my Instagram. I usually post um, post the products in these my stories, that way you have a direct link to it, um, but that Murky Waters palette was definitely was definitely what got me on board with this brand. It made such an amazing first impression, and I love it. Okay, this is a nice matte white, and I feel like it's taking on a little bit of a baby blue undertone to it. 
What do you guys think? I love it. I love it. And everything that I'm wearing, guys, uh, already, makeup I have on already, I will have it linked and listed in the description box. I'm going to go in with my Gain Beauty E01, and I just feel like I need to do something purple. So I'm going to go in with this shade right here. This one is called Cosmic. And I'm going to be applying that all in the crease. And I'm going to use another brush to like blend out. But this is going to be like the outer half. I love all the new indie makeup releases that have been coming out. Bella Beauty Bar. Did you guys catch my Instagram reel and YouTube short video showing you guys that palette? I should have that palette for looks with it going up tomorrow. So stay tuned. I don't know what, what time exactly. Probably in the afternoon. But if you love pastels, that Bella Beauté Bar Palette is going to be right up your alley. Now I'm going to switch over to a BK, uh, what is this, the A504, same shade. And I'm going to use that to kind of just help blend a little bit better. I love that Game Beauty E01 brush for like packing shadow on, especially in the crease. Like just building it up. But I do need a small a little detail brush to kind of just blend the edges a little bit better and I'm loving the way this is turning out loving it loving it now we got to do something fun and sparkly so we have these three shimmers right here we have this one and we have this one kind of leaning more towards that one this one is called Milky Way I'm gonna take this shade on a damp Morphe 709 Go back in with a little bit of Cosmic, which is the purple. Now for the lower lash line, I think I'm going to do this shade right here. This one is called Universal. I'm going to use my BK204. Add a little bit more of Moon. The matte white. Okay, I am going to pop off camera to do some finishing touches and I'll be right back to show you the completed look number one. Okay guys, so here's the completed look number one. I went in finally with one of these new Urban Decay. These are their new liquid liners, 24-7 inks. And it says, what does it say here? Get a grip, let it flow ergonomic design line from thick to slick take control with ink like hues all day slay don't mess around smudge transfer water resistant and it is a vegan formula i picked up this blue shade i love the packaging by the way but i picked up this blue shade this one is called binge i also picked up a lime green i mean how can i not this one is called freak and then i also picked up a yellow over here and this one is called mucho 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 is it mucho 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 so um yeah i'm loving that i'm loving the contrast of the blue with the purple i think it's really fun i love that pop of white in the inner corner and then just something kind of neutral for the lower lash line if i wanted to make this look more dramatic then obviously i would have went in with a uh, more purple or maybe one of those deep purple shimmer shadows but this i think is very wearable for every day maybe you don't want to do the purple lip but of course you can wear something more neutral i love it uh the mascara I'll be using in today's video is this one from L'Oreal. It is their uh, telescopic lift mascara. And that's about it. Oh, the lower waterline. I went in with this one from ColourPop Cream Gel Liner. The shade has rubbed off. I want to say it's like um, Blue Crush or Big Splash or something like that. Um, but I'll have it linked in the description box. Let's move over to the left eye and we'll start working on look number two. Okay, so for look number two, I want to do something with the pinks maybe. Maybe work with these three right here. And maybe even use the purple or this shade to kind of deepen it up a little bit. So I think I'm going to start with this one in the like transition area and then build this up in the crease. This first shade is called Momentum. I'm going to go back in with my Gain Beauty E01.
is a nice peachy pink shade. I think it is blending out well. There's a little bit of kick up in the pan, not too bad. But just be careful, especially if you're working around that white shade and the shade is next to the white shade. You don't want to get any other pigment mixed in with the white. You want it to stay white. Next, I'm going to go in with a hot pink shade called Laser, and I'm going to use a Refer 14. Refer, by the way, is gearing up for a mid-April sale. So they're going to have a lot of their items, I would say majority of their stock, half off. Uh, as soon as I get a little bit more details, I'll be posting about it in the community section. But in case you've been wanting to try refer brushes, you guys see me use them every single time I do a video. These and BK Beauty, um, they will be having a sale very soon. And it's going to be this month in April. Okay, so that's a really pretty little Barbie pink shade. These mattes are really smooth. You know, out of all the shades, I would say the purple that I used over here, like, swatched the least well. <laughs> but it performed much better on the eye than it did on my arm. So, again, we can't just go by arm swatches. All right, now with that same brush, I'm going to try Universal. I hope I don't mess this up. But I just want to see if this can give a little bit more depth right out here. This is kind of like a taupey gray shade. Yeah, I think it's working. I'm going to use my Cookie Monster here to get a little bit, a little bit of a closer look. Guys, I feel like I'm coming down with something. I feel like, I don't know, I think it's just allergies, but I went to bed early yesterday and I've been taking medicine. So I'm hoping I cannot afford to get sick right now. I have so much going on at work. And then here, <laughs> my home work here, the channel, I just know. I need to stay healthy. I'm going to add a little bit more of the pink. Pink is called laser. Okay, I think they're all blending really well. All right, now let's go in with this shade right here. This one's called Stardust. I'm taking Stardust on a damp Refer 21. Ooh, I did feel a little bit of fallout with this one. I'm not using glitter primer, so. Wow, that's pretty. I think this is a good price point. 36 bucks, less a 10% discount if you use a code. That's not bad at all. Let me touch up the pink a little bit. I'm going to touch up Universal, the darker shade. Okay, I think that looks really nice. It was a good blend, easy blend. Let's try going in with this yellow-orange shade down here called Solar. I'm taking Solar on a BKA504. I can already tell you I want to use this on the next look. I want to do it like maybe in the inner corner or something because I think this is such a beautiful shade. I think solar paired with this shimmer shade, like just those two colors alone, would give you a beautiful look. All right, now I'm going to go back in with Stardust for the inner corner. I'm using a damp Refer 03. This is such a pretty shade. Perfect inner corner shade. Look how fun that orange is. I'm definitely going to have to do some type of an orange liner. Maybe deepen that up a little bit, but. I think that looks really pretty. These shadows are performing really, really well. I'm going to pop off camera, take care of finishing touches, and I'll be right back to show you the completed look number two. Okay, guys, here's the completed look number two. Same mascara. I did finally get to use my new Sugar Drizzle eyeliner. This is just a black eyeliner, pen style eyeliner. I love it. I love the packaging. You guys know I love anything like ocean themed. I think this is so cute. 
Love it. Um, for the lower waterline, I went in with this one from Maybelline. It is part of their Tattoo Studio line, and it's their gel pencil eyeliner. This one is in the shade Orange Flash. And this is a completed look. I love it. It was easy. It was very easy to create this look. Um, which look am I going to remove? I actually think I'm going to remove this look because I think this look goes more with a purple lipstick. So let me take this one off. I'll take some quick pictures first and I'll come back and we'll start working on look number three. All right, let's start working on the third and final look with Galaxia Magica. So we haven't played with any of these beautiful shimmers or this gold. Um, I think I told you guys I really wanted to work with this shade. So I think I'm gonna just I'm going to like really try and pack this on the crease and I'll probably have to use universal again to deepen up the outer corner, but then maybe we can bring in this beautiful blue shade or maybe a combination of these two shades or a combination of this blue and that gold. I really want to use this shade. Like I'm dying to use this shade. So I'm going to start first with this one. This one is called solar. I'm taking solar on a refer 15 and I'm really going to just, I'm just going to pack this like all over. This is such a beautiful matte shade. I love a good little orange like this. It's kind of like an orangey mustard shade. I love it. Okay, so maybe I won't have to go in with Universal. Let's just see. I'm sure once I add those deeper shimmer shadows, like we'll get we'll get enough depth. I'm loving this. I'm loving the mattes in this palette. They, they definitely perform better on the eyes um, than some of, them, some of them swatched. And of course, that's fantastic. That's what we want. I want to use this shade right here. This one is called Blue Eclipse. And I'm using a damp Morphe 709. I think I'm going to apply this all over the lid. And then I'm going to add a little bit of the gold with my finger on the inner portion, not the inner portion, the middle portion of the lid. Blue and orange, one of my favorite color combinations. Mm -hmm. Look how pretty that is. Okay. So now I'm going to go in with light ears ahead and I'm just picking this up with my finger. Place that right here in the center. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Okay, I need to clean up the, the mat a little bit. And I'm going to go back in with my BKA504. So I don't want to disturb that blue, but I do feel like the mat needs to be Blend it just a little bit better. Now, I think I'm going to try using this one, Magic Dust, on the lower lash line. You know what? This could be that matte with sparkle in it. Yeah, it is perfect. Okay, that's actually perfect. So I'm going to get my Refer 12 and go in with Magic Dust. It's a very pigmented shade. So I know that I want to take it all the way into the inner corner, but right there should be good. Now with that same brush, I'm going to pick up some of Solar. Now I hope I don't mess this up, but I'm going to try going in with this shade again, light years away, and just add it a little bit to the inner corner. I'm going to use the same refer 12 and I am going to spray it. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Oh wow. Okay, good. I was thinking it might be a little too dark, but no, it's perfect. Okay, guys. Ooh, what a sparkly look going on. I'm going to add the finishing touches off camera 
and I'll be right back to show you the completed look number three. Okay guys, so here's the completed look number three. I love orange and blue together. I'm so excited that I was able to create this color combination for you guys. You all know what's already in the lower waterline. If it's this blue sparkly liner, it has to be this one from Give by Gwen Stefani. This one is in the shade Bath Water. I did pick up some of her new eye paints and eyeliners. I was so excited for her, or for her brand to come out with these new products. I have them sitting over here. I'm gonna do like a full face, get ready with me, try a new makeup video, and some of the things that I picked up during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale, which by the way, the last day is today. But um, for the top lash line, I went in with a Shop Miss A Artista eyeliner. This one is in the shade blue. These are really awesome eyeliners and they're like less than $2. Um, what else did I go in with? The same mascara, I think that's about it. Yeah, that's about it. I love it. I love the way the look turned out. Yeah, it doesn't totally go with uh, the lipstick. I think I'm going to remove the lipstick. I don't know that the other shade would go with this look. So I'm just going to try to put something on really neutral. And then I will wrap up today's video. All right, guys. So I just changed into the Rare Beauty lipstick. This one is in the shade Humble. And then I topped it with one of their new tinted lip oils in the shade Honesty. Guys, I have a full demo swatching all of the shades of the new Rare Beauty tinted lip oils. Uh, I think that was the last video I had go up. So definitely check that out in case you're interested in those new tinted lip oils. But let's go back to the palette because I was able to create three amazing looks with it with this Galaxia Magica palette from Ladybug Glow. I think the color story is beautiful. If you love colorful makeup and you love indie makeup and maybe you're looking to add a new indie makeup brand to your stash, right here this palette for 36 bucks less my discount code Steph. i think it brings it to like 32 bucks i mean this is i think a pretty awesome deal you are getting some duo chrome some shifty shadows in here you're getting five mattes and you're getting one matte that has a little bit of sparkle which is this shade down here it's the one i used on the lower lash line i didn't encounter any duds with this palette it's your typical cardboard packaging and you do get a mirror up here it says that it's vegan, cruelty free, and good for 24 months after opening. I am excited. I'm excited about this brand. I'm excited for Amanda and this new endeavor for her launching Ladybug Glow. Um, she's been so sweet to me and I've heard nothing but amazing things about her, especially from Christina, the owner of Gourmand Girls. And I am very happy to support Ladybug Glow. Let me know what your thoughts are on today's video regarding the three looks. So what did you think of the palette? Which team are you on? Are you team one? One, team two, team three, team none. Sound off in the comments down below. Let me know if Ladybug Glow Galaxia Magica is going to be in your future. And keep in mind, she only has about 86, 87 palettes in stock right now. So if you love it, grab it now. I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. You all have a great day or night, wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated, guys. Drink your water. Cheers. I'll see y'all very soon. Bye.